At John Deere, your safety is our top priority. In this video, we will discuss proper setup of one through eight family loader tractors to maximize safety, stability, and performance. Your tractor and loader operator's manual include information on safe tractor and loader operation. Be sure to consult your manuals before operating your machine. Both tread settings and ballast recommendations are found in preparing the tractor section of your loader operator's manual. To help prevent personal injury or death from rollover, adjust tractor rear tread settings to the widest possible settings. Front tread setting adjustment can vary depending on loader and tractor model. Consult your loader and tractor operator's manual for maximum and minimum tread setting requirements. This will provide greater stability on uneven terrain. On tractors equipped with rack and pinion rear axles, rear wheels can simply be adjusted outward on axle shafts. Some flange type rear axles provide tread adjustment by either exchanging wheels to the opposite side of the tractor or by reversing the wheel disc from dished in to dished out. Still other models provide hub extensions in varying widths. These extensions are installed between the wheel and axle flange. Consult tractor's operator manual or your local John Deere dealer for more information. Loader tractors always require counterbalance weight to provide optimal stability and maximum loader capacity. Counterweights can be added in one, two, or three areas in varying combinations. These are rear wheel weights, ballast box on three-point hitch, and fluid-filled rear tires. Begin counterweight ballasting by first removing all front weights if equipped. Some models may also require removal of the weight bracket to provide additional clearance. In addition to transferring weight to the rear of the tractor, this will also help reduce the total weight on the front axle. Excessive weight on front axle could cause premature wear or failed components. Refer to the specifications section of your loader operator's manual. Once there, locate loader model, type, and tractor model or family. It then provides locations and minimum amounts of required counterbalance weight. On some tractors, two or more options are available, while on others, there is only one approved method to achieve optimal stability and maximum loader capacity. Always refer to your loader operator's manual to find specific requirements for your tractor loader combination. For example, here it provides two options for minimum required rear ballast. One for weight on three-point hitch only, and a second option for a combination of three-point hitch and rear axle weights. Some models also provide a third option to add fluid to rear tires in combination with wheel weights and three-point hitch mounted ballast box. While transporting, be sure to carry loads as low as possible to the ground. A properly ballasted and set up loader tracker will allow you to do more work while improving stability and performance. 